Summer season is in full swing and with it comes new life, including a special tag along story with the DNR. Jackson Jurek goes along for the ride. We're here at the Taylor Wildlife Management Area as we followed along with the DNR as they actively did their third annual Coloring of the Fawns Research Project. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to want to see this one. <coughs> and we're out um, capturing fawns to monitor for survival and causes of mortality. Um, so right now we just got done Jeep, uh, capturing a fawn. The whole reason of capturing fawns? To use a small GPS tracking collar for roughly the first 12 to 18 months and help better understand the early stages of a fawn's life. This is one of the main things we're looking at for the study is cause-specific mortality. So essentially just what's killing it and then we're trying to figure out why. Um, is it something to do with habitat? Is it something to do with you know, genetics or something? Um, are they pre-stressed when we get there? That's, we're finding a lot of those questions with the blood work. So we're using drones with thermal imaging. Um, it's never really been done before to locate fawns for capture. So this is a completely novel method, um, but it really uh, allows a lot of opportunities. You know, we're finding fawns in different landscapes. You know, historically what you do is you um, get a number of people, 30 people, and you walk throughout this whole WMA just searching for fawns. You know, where now we're using this drone, we're going, we're covering this area a lot quicker. Uh, we're getting precise locations where the fawns are at so we can go exactly where they were, um, just a lot a lot quicker. So after we kind of figured out that method, then we began GPS coloring fawns in 2021, uh, 22, and then this year. And so far we found uh, a number of, a uh, pretty high proportion of our mortalities are coyote predation. Roughly 70% of all the predations are um, coyotes. So what does the DNR hope these studies show by tracking these cute little guys? Tyler gave us an idea of what he hopes to see in the future with these studies. Learn a lot more about movement and habitat selection. You know, we know we're going to get a lot of great survival and cause mortality information. We're already getting that. Um, but when we start to get all these locations coming in, because we need to retrieve the collar before we can get all those locations. So then we're hoping to get a better idea of where they're, where they're moving, uh, you know, what they're selecting, and that can better help uh, how we manage the landscape. You know, we know we live in a heavy, heavy agriculture area. Area, um, but is there anything that we can do um, to allow them to move throughout the landscape better? You know, we're not going to change air culture. Um, it's here to stay, and, and, and we need that. We need that land. But um, is there anything that wildlife biologists, as us, can do to manage um, for both at, in conjunction with um, agriculture? From Louisville, Jackson Jurek, KUIC News Now.